Okay guys, today I'm gonna show you a new marbling technique that I've been using quite often. So you'll need your cutters. You're gonna need to pick um, at least, I would say three colors of clay. I'm using five here. Um, you're gonna need a tissue knife and then uh, an acrylic roller is what I'm using. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is roll out our clay. Each color, you wanna roll it out into a little sausage. Um, they do not have to be perfect. They don't have to all be exactly the same length for this technique. Okay, so now that we have them rolled out and our clay is conditioned, we're gonna go ahead and start to line them up like I'm doing here. And there's no rhyme or reason to the way that I line these up. I just put them all together and then you start to cut through them with your tissue knife. And even this, it does not have to be perfect. I just kind of very roughly chop all of my clay into smaller pieces. Okay, so now I have all these tiny little bits of clay and I'm just kind of roughly breaking them apart and um, mixing them together here. And the next thing we're gonna do is start to squeeze this into a ball. Now you wanna make sure that when you do this that you're applying plenty of pressure and you're squeezing it really hard. That way you're getting all the air out of it and you don't end up with air bubbles once we slice this and bake it. So you can see the marbling effect already starting to happen, which is really cool. So now that I have this kind of in a round shape, I'm gonna take my roller and roll it out, and then I'm gonna repeat that same process. So you can see here, it's about an eighth of an inch thick, maybe a little thicker, and then I'm just gonna run my knife through again, and I'm gonna repeat that same process that we just did. Okay, so now that I'm happy with how my marbling looks, I'm gonna take this and I'm just pressing this into like a square or a rectangular shape. Now I'm making sure I'm trying to apply the same amount of pressure to all sides as I'm forming this. And once again, you wanna make sure that when you're pressing that you're getting as much of the air out as possible to avoid air bubbles. All right, so the next step is to slice into this. So you don't wanna to slice too thin, but you also don't want it to be too thick. You wanna kinda of try to keep them about the same size. So let's go ahead and slice this baby up. Now we're gonna to start to lay our slices down on our work area and create sort of like a slab, a clay slab. And you wanna just press your edges together as you're laying them down, so you're connecting them. And save at least one slice to rip apart so you can fill in any holes um, that you might have in your slab here. So now that we have all of our pieces laid out, we're gonna take our acrylic roller and we're just gonna start to roll over this to try to get it as even as possible. It's not gonna be perfect on this step, but that's fine. The main goal here is to get everything to stick together really nice and be pretty even. Okay, so now that we've rolled this out with our acrylic roller, 
you're gonna wanna use a pasta machine. Now this is optional, I just like to do this because it makes your whole slab the same thickness. And I just think that that looks really good whenever you're cutting your pieces so they're all the same size. So I have mine set at about an eighth of an inch thickness and I'm just gonna run that right through you can see it even stretches your slab a little bit so you even have more clay to work with, which is really cool. Okay, so now that we have our beautiful marbled slab back on our workspace, now we get to start cutting. So you can use whatever cutters you want. These are just the ones that I thought would look really cool. And then I'm just gonna start to place them and cut out my shapes here. All right, so now we've cut out all of our shapes and I do have some scraps left over. I don't throw those away. I like to save those um, so I can use them for something else later on, you know, for another slab or something. But look how pretty the marbling on these turned out. All right, let's get these into the oven and I'm gonna bake these for about 30 minutes at 275. And these are little flowers that I just popped into my mold to coordinate with the colors. All right, so now that we've baked our pieces and let them cool, we're gonna start to assemble them. So I'm gonna use this little hand drill to drill my holes into the pieces. Then I have my pliers, and then I also have jump rings. Now I'm using nine millimeter jump rings here. All right, so just line up where you want your hole to be, and then you're gonna very gently just apply a small amount of pressure, not really hard, and then you're gonna start to twist that hand drill to drill your holes. Okay, so now that we're done drilling the holes into our pieces, we're gonna go ahead and add our jump rings. And like I said before, I'm using nine millimeter jump rings. These tend to be my go-to size for earrings. Okay, we're all done. Here are the completed earrings using the new marbling technique. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this is something that you can use to help you explore new techniques in polymer clay. Now, if you want to see more of the things that I create or even more behind the scenes stuff, make sure you go and follow me on Facebook and you can find me at greatest of these co you can also find me on instagram and it is at greatest of these co thanks guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time